What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so guess what guys? Yeah, it is time for a side quest. It really is. And uh, well, we're gonna have some fun. In our last episode, we defeated Morty for our fourth badge. This enabled us to actually uh, to, to, to actually be able to use the surf technique and yeah, we're gonna be taking advantage of this whole thing right here because well shoot <laughs> Yeah, we, we definitely need to use that surf technique um, Another thing too Oh man, we're gonna be doing some uh, some fun stuff right here So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be going straight back to the ruins of elf and there's gonna be something that we need to do there And, that, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fantastic guys. You're gonna love it. Probably should have saved it for like later episodes, but because I have a specific Pokemon on my team, this, uh, this, uh, I, I cannot wait. We have Surf. So, what you can do now is you can surf the waters freely and everywhere else, and well, bam. Look at that. And this will enable us to go into the next uh, chamber right here. Next puzzle. Now, there's going to be two things that I want to do. Crap baskets. I'll be right back. <laughs> you got to love that glitch, guys. That's what happens when you use the Dismume. So, we got two things that we need to cover. The puzzle and what's behind here. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the puzzle because we're not too far away from the uh, from the ruins. As you guys can see right here, this Pokemon knew no fear and flew as it pleased through the skies long ago. And from what it looks like, it is looking like an Aerodactyl. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to actually fix out this, uh, this whole puzzle right here. As you guys can see... If we click on it twice, it's going to actually see where you can actually flip it around. And, well, I think this is how we do it. Let's see. We do go like this. There it is. And that must be the tail. So let's click this down. And there you go. You got half a tail. This looks like its jaw. This is, of course, his uh, foot right there. This is the corner, so let's go ahead and get that. And as you guys can see, here is his mouth, and bam, Aerodactyl has been or has been solved. Now, bam, we're in the ruins of Elf. Here's something, guys. Now, I didn't mention this in the last uh, the last time we were at the ruins of Elf because, well, of course, you know, Draven likes to be lazy, but I I have here the the guy, the kinds of uh, what what you would call it, unknowns that you can awaken after you solve each puzzle. So, first off, unknown that appear after you solve the right upper puzzle, which would have to be the first puzzle that we we solved along well, a few episodes ago. You will be getting unknown A through J. Now, the unknowns that will appear after you solve the lower left puzzle, which would have to be later on in our adventure. You will be getting, let's see, J, K, K through Q, I believe. Unknown that appear to you after you uh, you solved uh, the puzzle on the lower right puzzle, which is the one that we just solved. You will be getting unknowns R through, let's see, R, S, T, U, V, yeah. Unknowns R through V. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. <laughs> now, the unknown that appear to you after you solve the last puzzle, which is the upper left corner... You'll be getting unknowns W through Z. Now, if you capture all 26 of these unknowns, you will have two more unknowns that you will actually be able to, to open up, and that is unknown exclamation mark and question mark. Yeah, believe it or not, you got those. So, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm actually gonna, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use a repel because I really don't wanna be, uh, in the way of these Pokemon right here, and crap baskets, we have no repel. So we might we might be running into some unknowns right here. Really don't want to. And well, here we have unknown D. The messed up part about this, guys, is that yeah, I don't I don't know what what unknown I got. Let's see. Let me take a look at the unknown report right here. Let's see. If you go right here, here's the unknown report. Use and. We've only got one unknown, and that happens to be, let's see, yes, we have caught unknown A, so it does keep track of all the Pokemon that we 
that we have actually captured. And now that we solved two puzzles, we've gotten we've got quite a few unknowns to actually capture right here. So here's unknown T, the very first one of the second puzzle that we just you know we 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 just uh, solved. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try and capture all the unknowns off screen. That way we can actually like enable the the last two unknowns and all that stuff. Now let's go back into the same. Let's go back into the same uh, puzzle place and get what we needed. Get what we want. Well, get the things that, we, that we've been looking forward to. So here we go. Surfing off our way right here. And we're going to be going back into the same place right here. And, well, if you go back right here, this one will say light. Obviously, it means flash. So all you got to do now is have a Pokemon with flash. Click it. And bam, flash. And would you look at this? Bam, opened. So you open a secret chamber and you find four Pokeballs. You collect this one right here. And I'm going to try and collect it. Bam, we found ourselves a Moonstone. Yes. Okay, and then an energy root. And what else? What else have we found? Okay, right here, we found ourselves a heal powder. And last but not least, we found ourselves a citrus berry, which is always good. But this is a... Well, if you guys have a Nidorino or Nidoran or anybody that evolves through Moonstone on your team, this is probably the fastest way of getting a Moonstone. Obviously, the next few Moonstones that you'll be able to find will be in the Tojo Falls or, you know, your mom getting you, buying you one. And for me, I kind of don't want to... I didn't want to wait for that. So as you guys can see right here... Our plan, our plan created Pokemon, strive outside, or wait, wait, what does that say? Or, oh, wait, there it is. Our plan created Pokemon, statue outside. Huh. So that's, uh, that's kind of funny right there. So I'm going to fast forward right here, guys, because we got other things to accomplish. As you see on the title, we got something else to do, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back outside, and well, first is first, I kind of want to go to Violet City, if I can. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's go ahead and surf, because there there are some items that you can actually get grab while surfing, so here's one of them. There's no need for us to skip that, and there we go. We found ourselves a Hyper Potion. Obviously, we can, you know, break those rocks and all that stuff, and bam, you know. That'd be easy. So, coolest thing about Surf is that you can you can do any you can pretty much go back to the last the last few places that you've been and you know grab yourself some items that you need. And that is probably what I'm, well that's that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right here because well there are some items that we probably pass by and we need to actually grab. So here we are in, in Violet City. If you surf right here, you will be finding something along the way so let's go right ahead and uh take care of that obviously we're gonna get attacked by pokemon polywag is you know definitely one of them and what you cannot let me go away because well i'm not that speedy but going right here find ourselves a pp up this right here is uh it's well yeah it's definitely something that, that you probably will be needing if you have a move that you kind of want to you kind of want to just in, like increase the pp on and well, let's see. Is there anything else? Maybe if I surf that way. So, first is first, guys. I'm gonna get some repels because I really don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys, and we're gonna be surfing. We're gonna be going to let's see. The other part right here. I don't know if we're gonna be finding anything. So there we go. We're gonna be putting on a repel and let's go right ahead and surf right here. And look at that. We're going to be finding another item, and that is a rare candy. A very useful rare candy right here. And, well, we're going to be going towards uh, not there. But look at this. We found ourselves a Poliwhirl. Oh, I'm definitely going to try and capture this guy. And... Well, actually, you know what? Let's just battle it. But, yes, you will be able to find some, <laughs> some strong Pokemon surfing. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go towards the outside of, uh, well, let's see, hold on just a sec. Let's go towards the, 
kind of have a feeling that, you know, you can actually find somebody right here. And no, there's nobody there right now. I was thinking of the weekend people. I was, uh, or the weekday family and stuff. So, yeah, never mind. So let's go right ahead and move on forward right here. Here we have a little pool, and you'll be able to find nothing. Except headbutt some Pokemon, some Pokemon trees and all that stuff. You'll be able to find some, uh, Poliwags that are way over-leveled. And, yeah, they're not gonna let me escape just like that. Alright, so, let's see. Is there anything else before we move on? Oh, yes. Let's go back to Cherry Grove Town, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in the outskirts of Cherry Grove, and we forgot this big old pool right here behind Cherry Grove City. You'll be able to find yourself this. So, let's see. There we go. We found ourselves a nugget. And just like today, yes, inflation really, really, really does suck. So, let's go right ahead and surf this and get away from these Pokemon, which obviously they're going to be attacking us, level 2s. And right here, we're going to be finding ourselves in Cherry Grove City. So all we got to do now is surf right here, and you'll be able to find this individual. And he's like, a Pokemon I caught had a an item. I think it's a Mystic Water. I don't need it, so do you want it? Sure, let's go right ahead and grab this Mystic Water. This, of course, will help uh, our Water-type Pokemon moves uh, increase. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it right there, guys. Uh, so we're going to move forward. We need to go. We need to go back to the Union Cave because, well, let me show you why. Look at that. It is Friday. That only means one thing, and uh, well, I gotta fast forward in order to find this Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are, close to the Union Cave. Now there is one thing that we need to do first. It is currently Friday, so what we're gonna be doing right here is we found Frida of Friday, and well, she's like, Yahoo! It's Friday. I'm Frito Friday, nice to meet you. Here's a, po a poison bar for you. And well, there you go, we get ourselves a poison bar that enables or that helps out poison uh, type moves. And yes, it is wicked. You'll be shocked at how good it makes poison type moves go. Yeah, alrighty, so yes. We have been on this mission for quite some time now, guys. And uh, well, again, we are glad that we got ourselves the, the serve technique because yes, this right here, <laughs> This will actually get us to the next, yeah, the next portion right here, and I'm just going to be fast forwarding because, wow. Uh, again, I am using a Nintendo 64 controller, so yeah, I'm using the, the main toggle stick right here. So, now that you got yourself the surf technique, you will be able to surf to, through different places right here in this place. And, uh, first things first is, uh, yeah, we're not going to go there. We're going to go straight to the area where we are going to be able to find a Wild Lapras. Now, it only happens during Fridays, so keep an eye out for that. And yes, this Pokemon is going to be on our team. This is, a, uh, yeah, this is the reason why we, you know, we've been waiting for the whole, the whole, uh, whatchamacallit, surf technique. And on top of that, we also have the Moonstone, so this will actually evolve our good old buddy, uh, Nidorino. So hopefully, once we get this whole thing down, then bam. So, let's see. Here we are. Here's a trainer, and, well, let's see. There is just one thing that's bothering me about getting a Nido, uh, a Nido Queen or a Nido King right now is that, uh, well, let's see. I am looking towards uh, the file right here of our Pokemon. Evolving, evolving Thrasher right now, it will only learn three moves, and that is... At level 23 Thrash, level 43 Earth Power, and level 58 Mega Horn, whereas as a Nidorino, it does know, it does learn quite a few moves along the way, such as, you know, Toxic Spikes, Poison Jab, you know, these moves. So, what's gonna happen, holy crud, I'm like, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think it's best that, you know, we actually, uh, we actually evolve him right now because there is a move remo uh, re move rememberer that will actually tr will actually tre teach your Pokemon these moves. So let's go right ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and uh, evolve uh, our good old buddy uh, Neater uh, or Thrasher. Eventually, two levels later, it will learn Thrash Attack. So here it is, guys. Getting Thrasher to uh, to evolve. 
didn't take us that long. It really didn't. So, look at this. Bam, Thrasher. Fully digivolves to Nido King. Look at this. Yeah, this is one of my favorite Pokemon, too, from Generation 1. And, well, let's see. Now that it's a Nido King, it can learn some... It can learn better moves, such as Dragon Claw, hopefully. Can it? Damn it. No, it can't. Okay, so it, it, it is able to learn better moves. Uh, Dig is one of them, since it is a dra uh, ground type Pokemon. Let's see if it can learn Drain Punch. I want to know. Let's see. Drain Punch. Uh, how? Okay, so how is it that it can't learn Drain Punch? That is a, that is a mysterious thing. So let's go right ahead and teach it Dig. Don't worry, we can actually uh, buy Dig again, I guess. I don't know. So let's go ahead and give Dig to good old Thrasher now that it, you know, it is able to do so. And, well, let's see. Take away its Fury Attack, and bam. There it is. Okay, so let's go right ahead and try out our newest Pokemon, Nido King. Right here with uh, switching them up, and here we go. Not, not that. Okay, come on. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Who's there? Leave me and my Pokemon alone. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on another individual, and he... He's coming out with his Marowak right here, and here is Nido King for the first time, and well, we're going to be going with a Dig Attack right here, and Dig Attack does its thing, but let's go with a Double Kick, and Double Kick again. This Pokemon is uh, very defensive right here, so there we go, and just like that, we have defeated this guy, so he's coming out with another Marowak, so let's go with Lucky right here. Surf Attack, Surf Attack again, and there you go, Lucky grows to level 24. And it is learning Amnesia. Mm, you know what? Let's go ahead and take away Mud Sports. It's really, you know, it's it's immune to to electric type attacks and stuff. So our mom is calling us. Obviously, it has to be something about you know getting us some new, uh, getting us a another present and all that stuff. But here we have another trainer, and let's see what this guy's all about. I came I came all the way here to conduct my Pokemon research. Let me demonstrate my findings in a real battle. Hmm, okay. Here we go, taking on Pokemaniac Kelvin, and he's going to be coming out with his Kangaskhan. This is a beefy Pokemon. Very, very strong Pokemon. And there we go. We have defeated it in level 22. Yes, we are... Yeah, we, <laughs> we got... We got... We got to train our Pokemon, guys. We really do. And on top of that, save a lot of money. And, well... Yeah, we're going to be finding some Pokemon right here that... You know, they're going to attack us and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead. Why am I doing that? Okay, let's go... First is first. Let's go right ahead and give the Super Potion to this guy. And next, let's go right ahead and use a Repel. We're down to two, so that's that's pretty lame right there. So let's go right ahead and surf this Pokemon. Lucky. Let's go. And, well, let's see. There are some items right here that you can actually find. Like this, like this little sucker right here. We found ourselves in Elixir. And, well, let's go right ahead, back down right here. And, let's see. There is another item right here. I think you could find Rock Tomb, which I think we've already found. But you could also find other trainers here. And, well, let's see. This can't be free for no reason. And, well, we're going to get attacked by a stronger, a much stronger Pokemon. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to, to see that my Pokemon are not that strong just yet. And, well, we ran out of another Repel, so... Big, uh, whoop. So here we have a cool trainer. He's gonna be like, There are two kinds of people. Those with style and those without. Which kind of person are you? I do not know. So here we go, taking on Ace Trainer Mick. Or Nick, I should say. So he's coming out with his uh, Charmander. Again, I am jealous that he has it. And he's going to be coming out with Squirtle, so let's go with Fluffle right here. And Thunder Wave. I don't know why I did that. And here we go. Thunder Shock for the win. And coming out with a Bulbasaur, so let's go right ahead and do this. Flame Wheel Attack for the win. And just like that, we win. Obviously, he will not call us. And here we found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And, well, let's see. You got to use one more Repel. We do have an escape rope, so that actually helps out. And, wow, I am literally wasting steps right here. And, holy crud. 
God dang it. Okay. Right here. And press the button. Speed it up a little. And yeah, there's an even stronger Quagsire right there. Holy crud. So let's go right ahead and battle this chick right here. Yeah, all these trainers are stronger. I've been training. Care for a round? Yes, we do. Alright, so let's go right ahead and double kick this Pokemon. And here we go again. Double kick. And just like that, we get ourselves to level 23 and Thrasher. By its namesake, Learning Thrash Attack. So let's go ahead and take away Peck Attack right here. And just like that, it has a Thrash Attack. So now it's coming out with a Vaporeon. So let's go ahead and speed this up right here. And use a Cotton Spore. And Thundershock nearly defeats us. And bam, level 23. Here comes a Flareon. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Lucky right here. Surf attack. And there we go again. Jolteon is coming out. So let's go with good old Thrasher right here. And Dig Attack right here. Does its trick. And yes, Thrasher. Oh man, it's kicking some butt right here. And our mother calls us again. So yeah, that's going to be another present for us. And well, there is a trainer right here. If, a, if the Pokemon I like were here or were there, I'd go anywhere. That's what a real trainer does. Hmm. Okay, so here we go, taking on Ace Trainer Emma, and she's coming out with a Poliwhirl. Holy crud. This can't be good. So let's go right ahead and go with the Thrash, and yeah, Bubble Beam is going to mess us up, so let's go right ahead and go with Hercules right here. Hercules, not as strong, but it still can get something right here. Let's go with the Brick Break. And Bubble Beam will beat this guy, and yes, Hercules has won with what one HP left. <laughs> okay, so we really need to train our Pokemon. Just once a week, a Pokemon comes to the water's edge. I wanted to see that Pokemon. Yeah, me too. Um, let's see. So, yeah, this is the reason why we got a lot of healing items, because, well, yeah, we... <laughs> I knew that we were going to be messed up. Yeah, a lot. So, let's go right ahead and... Get this to that, and that to that, and yes, we got we got ourselves quite a few revives. So let's go ahead and give that to Thrasher, and speed this up just a tad bit. You know, heal up our Pokemon because uh, we will be needing this kind of uh, these kind of uh, these kind of things right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here with uh, Fluffolt, and uh, yes, okay. So, again, once a week, on a, every Friday, you will be able to find yourself a Lapras. And, well, it is the only a Lapras that you will be able to find, so, yes. What's going to happen is, I'm going to save this game because I do not trust myself. And I did get myself some, uh, well, yeah, some specific Pokeballs in order to capture this Pokemon easily. So, come on, save. There we go. All right, Lapras, let's do this. Okay, so here it is guys taking on a level 20 Lapras This Pokemon it is a very rare Pokemon and Well, it does have some pretty good moves like water pulse It is both ice and water type a very good combination a very good Pokemon to actually have on your team going into Different kinds of Pokemon battles right here in the both the Johto and Kanto region So let's go right ahead and go straight for a Thundershock and, well, we're doing some things right here. Now, another thing that it does have is Body Slam. This attack can paralyze a Pokemon, so, yeah. Here comes another Body Slam attack. Good gravy. And, yeah, we are paralyzed. Just our luck. Just like in Pokemon uh, Emerald. So, let's go right ahead. Yeah, let's go get. Let's go ahead and give that to Fluffold. And another, yeah, we gotta, we gotta get, yeah, we gotta get, yeah, okay, so there it is. So, let's go straight into our Pokeballs right here. Now, as you guys can see, we do have quite a few different Pokeballs. We got Netball, Friend Ball, Heavy Ball, Love Ball, Quick Ball, Heal Ball, and Great Ball, and Fast Ball. Obviously, this Lapras is a little, it's a little heavy, so let's go right ahead and throw that Heavy Ball right here. Hopefully, this actually gets it, and, well, there's one, there's two. There's three, and... Oh! Nearly catches this Pokemon right here, so... Holy crud. Yeah, this Pokemon's gonna get rid of my Fluffolt, so... 
Let's go right ahead and go straight to Lucky. Now, Lucky does have, I believe, water absorbed. So, yeah, no water attacks will actually mess it up right here. So, let's see. Hmm. Pokemon, uh, Pokeball for catching a Pokemon that are the opposite gender of your Pokemon. Okay, so... Damn it. Okay, so let's see. Um, crap Baskets. Okay, we gotta switch out our Pokemon. The only female we... Ah, oh, Crap Baskets. Yeah, the only female we had is Fluff Bolt, so we gotta revive this Pokemon right here. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Where's a revive? Where's a revive where you need one? So let's go right ahead and give that to Fluff Bolt. And Water Pulse. Okay, so I thought, I literally thought that we had Water uh, Absorb, so let's go with another Super Potion. And Body Slam hits us. Let's go right ahead and go back to Fluff Bolt. And it is paralyzed, so let's go ahead and use that Love Ball, I think. I think that's what it is, so let's go right ahead, and there it is, Love Ball. Okay, so Love Ball, go. And there's one, there's two. There's three. Throwing out that peace sign. Okay, so it works. <laughs> okay, so there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a Lapras. And let's see what this Pokemon's all about. So here is Lapras, the transport Pokemon. Both water and ice type Pokemon. They have gentle hearts. Because they rarely fight, many have been caught. Their numbers have dwindled. Well, I'm going to make this Pokemon into one lean, mean fighting machine. And yes, we are going to be queef it its name from its original form. Everybody say hello to Nessie. How's it going? How's it going, Nessie? It's been a while. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and use that dig attack right here to get the heck out of here because we do not want to... Yeah, we do not want to go up against any other Pokemon right here. And just like that, guys, we are outside of the Union Cave. So, because we pretty much, yeah, because we pretty much uh, messed uh, with our, our whole type alignment right here. As you guys can see, Thrasher is now a ground type Pokemon. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So it's now poison and ground type. There is no need for us to actually have Lucky anymore. I know, I know, I've been using Lucky. I've been using Lucky like... Uh, <laughs> I've been using Lucky like uh, like like one of those uh, un unwanted Pokemon, but in Pokemon Crystal, it actually got its re redemption, so... <laughs> yeah, so in the next episode, we're going to be switching it out to Lapras and having a pretty good team right here. Other than that, guys, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know what I'm going to do in the next episode. We're going to have to figure that one out. It might be an adventure or something like that. I don't even know. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.